understand the concept of vegetative reproduction. Now, very common example that we would understand today is bryophyllum. Bryophyllum is a leaf where you have new leaves originating, new plants originating from the leaf. Now, in case of vegetative reproduction, we have three important areas from where the reproduction takes place. It can be root, it can be stem, it can be leaf. Okay. In the case of bryophyllum, this is leaf. A very important question I would ask you, there are many species, I can uh, name it as banana, orange, rose, jasmine that do not have seeds now. Why? Because of the vegetative reproduction, they have lost the capabilities to have the seeds and that is a natural process of evolution. So what are the species that we are focusing on which now reproduce by vegetative reproduction? One is banana, orange, then you have rose and jasmine. So these are the common species that we talk about. Another good example we have is begonia. Now what happens is uh, in the process of vegetative reproduction as we said there is a origin point but that origin point could be root stem or leaf. Now similar to this we understand the process of tissue culture. What happens in tissue culture? In tissue culture there is a site for growth and we remove specific tissues or cells these specific tissues or cells are called as callus. They are a small group that have a capability to divide rapidly. And these, when kept uh, in certain medium, have a capability to grow, capability to differentiate. And when they grow and differentiate, they form a similar organism or a kind of mature plant from the original plant. And this is where we also use the process of vegetative reproduction. But this uh, technique of uh, tissue culture is commonly seen for which kind of plants? Ornamental plants. So we have two important processes that we have understood today. One is vegetative reproduction, the examples of those we have covered and tissue culture where you have the uh, separation of the tissue which multiplies rapidly as callus and this callus further multiplies to form a new plant in an artificial medium and this is where you have the process of differentiation that occurs commonly seen in ornamental plants. So we have a common uh, demonstration to explain how vegetative reproduction takes place on the leaves in the case of bryophyllum here. So new plants originating from the leaves itself. We would be covering many more interesting concepts in science. Stay tuned. Have a wonderful day.